Weekends is family time. And so many times does it happen that I'm watching a movie with my family and I feel the urge to pop something, something nice and crunchy. But then I don't like using that frozen stuff from the fridge. So I'm going to make my very own freshly made in minutes chicken popcorn. So first I'm just going to take one onion and chop it as finely as possible. Slit it into half. Once again. Now, this goes into a bowl. That's the first thing. Next, I've got some nice fresh chicken mince here. Next, some finely chopped garlic into this. Then it's time to add some thyme. You know, actually the frozen popcorns that we use uh, not doesn't necessarily have good flavor of herbs. because It's quite processed. But if you're making it on your own, why not tell make it to your choice? So just some sprigs of thyme. You can also use some rosemary, some uh, oregano if you please. So just a little bit of herbs into this. For the spicy feel, just some chili sauce. Or you can always add some fresh red chilies if you feel. For some smoky taste into my chicken popcorn, some smoky barbecue sauce, just a bit. Some salt and then some cracked pepper. A little bit of mustard paste, not too much, just maybe a half teaspoon. And it's time to mix everything together. So that all the ingredients that we have added to this get nicely blended with the chicken. Next, what I need is an egg. You know, egg is what is going to give the binding to my popcorn. So maybe just one egg. And a little bit of the yolk. That's it. I'm leaving half of the yolk because I don't see too much quantity of my mince. If you take larger quantities, you can add more eggs. Some brown breadcrumbs for the binding and to make the mixture more tight in texture. Now let's see what happens once again. Mix, mix, mix. Nicely. And I see that it has got space for some more breadcrumbs. So that's it, halfway through, let's keep some oil for heating. So this goes on, and a pan of oil to heat up. I'm just going to make small quenelle, small balls out of it, because when you're popping, if you're calling it chicken popcorn, you really don't want large bits or to bite. It should be like a finger food that can be easily done. So let's take the chicken mince, bit by bit. Just roll them into rounds. This way. Still very easy, isn't it, so far? Once your balls, I mean, the chicken balls are ready to this stage. So let's take some regular cornflakes and uh, I'm crushing them evenly. So what happens is when we coat the chicken quenelles, the chicken balls, they have an even uniform coating. I require some eggs to coat it. So let's take two more eggs here. So let's beat these eggs lightly. We, need, we don't need to make it fluffy or anything. Just slightly beat them so that they are mixed. Then some cracked pepper. And here I've got some all-purpose flour. And I'm doing the same to this. Basically the flour and the eggs are going to coat the chicken balls. So I want them seasoned as well, you know and some salt. Some salt in this and some salt in this. Lovely. So I'm just going to run my fingers and to make sure that the salt is evenly mixed with the flour and then with the egg once again give it a quick mix. So here I've got my chicken balls. I've got seasoned all-purpose flour and we've got some beaten egg with salt and pepper. The fourth ingredient my crushed cornflakes out here. So now this is a process. One, two, three, and four. So the seasoned flour first. Just coat them. Once again, giving it a slight shape. Once they get the shape, go into the egg. Now, once they're here, you have to mind that, you know, your one hand is into the egg. And with the same hand, with the same fingers, pick it up. Drop the excess egg and put it into the cornflakes.
just with your fingers just toss this balls into the cornflakes mixture and once again lightly shape them now all of them into hot oil let's fry it till nice crispy and they literally feel like they're going to pop out just make sure that the oil temperature is not very low otherwise what's going to happen is the whole oil is going to get into the chicken but if it's too high the cornflakes will burn from outside and the heat will not reach inside so they might stay raw from inside so medium temperature with the oil just flipping them over and yummy they are looking gorgeous ah i need some patience here chef patience because i feel like just picking them and eating them straight away but they are very hot right now and other thing hey mind you i didn't tell you uh, i am frying them i like it crispy like this and fried but if you're really watching your calories or if you like bake you can also bake them at a moderate temperature so once they're nice and golden brown and taking them out on a absorbent paper to drain out the excess oil lovely just let them cool off slightly and uh, let's take the excess oil out so now let's just transfer this to a nice popping basket here and goes with some nice low fat mayo tartar sauce you can use ketchup mustard sauce you can make a yogurt dip so now essentially there's just one more thing left mm, i'll just tell you this one hmm